Hey there, I'm Evan, and thanks for checking out another episode of Are You Serious? Let's read Job 42, verse 2. I know that you can do anything. No one can keep you from doing what you plan to do. Job had lost everything. He lost his family, his home, and all of his wealth. And after much suffering in an impossible situation, he prayed these words, saying, No purpose or plan of yours can be stopped. Job recognized that God was the one in control, and he chose to put all of his confidence in God. God will help you do all the things he's called you to do. When you have trouble being patient or kind or humble or honest, God is with you. His plans for you are good, and you can trust him always. Let's pray together. Dear God, help us have confidence in your plans and in your will. Even if we're feeling discouraged or experience a heartbreaking loss like Job, we can trust you in your plans. That can be really hard, but it can teach us so much too. May we have confidence in your plan and your vision. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's fun fact is from the book Indescribable, 100 Devotions About God and Science by Louis Giglio. He writes about earthquakes and shares this amazing image. Did you know that there are approximately 500,000 detectable earthquakes throughout the world every year? And about 100,000 of them can actually be felt, but only about 100 cause any damage. Florida and North Dakota have the fewest earthquakes in the U.S., while Alaska has the most, with as many as 4,000 a year. Have you ever felt an earthquake? I haven't, but I can imagine that it feels like everything is out of control. You have no idea when the shaking will stop, and it's really, really scary. But thinking about earthquakes also reminds me of the story of Job, who we talked about a minute or two ago. Job lost everything, but he still saw God as supreme, as we saw him express in chapter 42, verse 2. But God also reminds Job of his supreme power and authority with these words from God. Where were you when I made the earth's foundation? Tell me if you understand. Who marked off how big it should be? Surely you know. What were the earth's foundations set on? Or who put its cornerstone in place? Even if life seems like an earthquake and it's totally turned upside down with whatever it is you're going through, you can trust that God is the one who was there at the very beginning laying the foundations of the earth, putting those tectonic plates in position at the center core of this planet we live on. Place your confidence in God, knowing He can do the impossible, and there's no situation so big that He can't handle it. Until next time, this has been Are You Serious? A video devotional based on day four of this week's God Time resource from the Orange Curriculum. We'll be back on Sunday with the start of a new set of videos. Have a great day.